Since I started here at Pocket Now, this has been one of the most requested videos for me to do. I am Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how I set up my Android home screen. Since I started here at Pocket Now, I've received a ton of feedback asking where I get my wallpapers, what widgets and launchers I use, and how I make my home screen setup. The fact of the matter is, these are things I rarely give any thought to. I throw something together and use it for a while. When I get bored, I add, subtract, or replace an element and move on. A few months back, I finally gave Action Launcher a go, and have exclusively switched to it. In the latest update, developer Chris Lacey added support for custom icon packs, something I've never cared for in the past. But to show off the new feature, Lacey used the Stark icon pack, and I immediately fell in love. I copied his setup, Action Launcher, the Stark icon pack, and the awesome purple wallpaper that comes packaged with the icon pack. I used this for a few hours before I started making my own modifications, and after a weekend of tweaking, I finally ended up with my current setup, a home screen setup I've never been more happy with. It's a truly different experience, and it looks awesome, sleek, clean. I started by flashing Paranoid Android to the Nexus 4. The stock 4.2.2 build had been acting up, and I was ready for something new, so I flashed the ROM and transitioned to Pi controls to squeeze out some extra display real estate. And I started my home screen setup from scratch. I downloaded Action Launcher and restored all existing apps to my phone. From there, it's much more simple than it may seem. Purchase and install Stark from the Play Store. It costs just $179. Once that's installed, from Action Launcher, press the Action Overflow button and select Settings. Choose Display, then Icon Pack, and select Stark. I also adjust the screen margins a bit to make the edges of the home screen as close to the edge of the display as possible. I narrow down my home screen page to just one, I up the grid size to 5x6, and I make the dock 5 icons wide. Return to the home screen and long press in a blank area. When asked where to choose the wallpaper from, select Stark. There are several great wallpapers available from Stark, but my personal favorites are the gradient purple and blue. Next, form the covers, which are simply folders hidden behind a single app icon, hence the name, a cover. I sort my applications into five sections, communication, productivity, camera and pictures, media, and news and information. Drag all the communication style applications into the communication folder. Open the folder, press the action overflow button within the folder, and select make cover. And set the most commonly used application as the cover by long pressing and dragging it to the first position. Repeat this process for the remaining four covers. All that's left is adding widgets, which is the most difficult part. My clock widget is Dash Clock, with which I use 9 extensions, in order from top to bottom. Missed calls, battery, clout score, calendar appointment, Gmail, weather, next alarm, sunrise and sunset, and data usage. I use Ultimate Clock Widget, or UCCW, and Play Bars from Google Play. Unfortunately, the most recent version of UCCW has a bug that has messed up the layout, so I reverted to an old version of the application, thanks to the help of a Twitter follower by the name of Jacob Engelman. I use play bars to set four play style widgets for my social apps on the home screen. Drag the quick drawer open with a swipe from the left edge of the display to the right and swipe left within the drawer to unveil widgets. Scroll to the use and select UCCW widget size 3x1. I do this four times and choose Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Hangouts. When you tap the widget, it will open UCCW, where you can edit the color and select the application you want the widget to load. This is helpful if you use a third-party Twitter client like Falcon Pro. Once you have this set to your desires, press the Action Overflow button, select Lock Widgets, and press On. Lastly, the icing on the cake is Rounder, an application that does one thing and one thing only. Round the corners of your display, a la WebOS. Download the free app, open it, and select which corners you want rounded, and set the corner radius. Then press Back. And that's the extent of my home screen setup. That wraps up this video, so if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to click the like button below and share your home screen in the comments or on the site. And as always, subscribe, follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you soon.